I, Bumop Naitisa, is the world's wackiest genius. I have a great idea of how to find a way to break that evil spell that came from that horrible sex scene from third person. I hate that sex scene to death. I'd rather see a Brian Lenny sex scene. If I ever want to see a Brian Lenny sex scene, I swear I will eat my Kit Kat bar for it! And I hope these great dialogues will be perfect for the retelling story of Taken 3. Oh, heck yeah! Oh, hi, ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, a.k.a. Boobop1907. This is my review for a day. And today's review, ladies and dudes. Oh, dang it! I forgot! I have no review, ladies and dudes. Let me clear out my sunglasses a little bit. I banged it too hard. All right. Well, let's get right to the video I really want to do anyway. Um, to cut this nice and short, I want to share you guys a couple of brand new dialogues that I did a couple of days ago, and I did it on a Thursday. And if Taken 3 had ever been retold or remade and whatever, I just decided to add some brand new dialogues that nobody had never heard before. And I want to make these dialogues nice and special for our main character, Brian Mills. And since we already know about Brian Mills, Brian Mills is one of the best movie characters of all time with a great storyline, great personality and attitude. He does have a very sexy voice. I like his sexy voice. Well, thanks to the old great Mike Liam Neeson, he's pretty darn sexy. Well, when he's getting older anyway. But I want to make some brand new dialogues that nobody had never heard before. And uh, to tell you the truth is, about dialogues, I think Taken 3 had the most weakest dialogues for Brian Mills. And since there's not much for it, all I remember is the three best dialogues that I enjoyed is Don't Be Such a Pestilist, uh, My First Priority is My Daughter, and but I'm not going to let you kill my daughter. Those are the three dialogues I do enjoy. But, I, yeah, I will say that Taken 3 did, does have the weakest dialogues for poor Brian Mills, and since he doesn't have much. But no matter what, Taken 1 and 2 had the best dialogues out of all of them. If you know what I mean, if you ever watched Taken 1 and 2. I think they have the best dialogue I ever heard from Brian Mills, and I'm... Well, ah, you get the picture. So, I decided to let you guys know, I decided to write down a couple brand new dialogues that nobody had never heard before. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So, without further ado, ladies and dudes, here are my brand new dialogues for Brian Mills, if there's ever going to be a retelling story of Taken 3. And I sure hope and pray I will give Luke Persson and that Mark Robert guy a run for their money. And plus, wherever Liam Neeson is in America or somewhere, I really want him to watch this video and get to know what the heck I wrote down in my own piece of paper. Since I worked so hard for it. So, let's get started on my brand new dialogues for the retelling story of Taken 3. Okay, my first one is... Brian is going to have some lust feelings on his Lenny, not Lenore. If we ever find a way to get some brand new dialogues and some brand new character development and chemistry for Brian Mills and his true love Lenny... I really want to see a sex scene between those two. And maybe that way their relationship will get a little bit better than before. And most of all, please don't forget to eat a Kit Kat bar for it. So please enjoy these sexual dialogues. And I really want to see Brian Mills to go really, really sexy on his, on his woman. And I hope you enjoy those dialogues. So here we go. My dear sweet Lenny, darling, do you want to go to bed with me and start fooling around? I'm going to give you the most greatest time of your life. I want you to moan for me, baby, 
Give me the most sexiest moan that I ever want to hear, just for old times' sakes. Please do this for me, Lenny. Lenny, my love, it is time for you to be with a real sexy man who loves you, supports you, respects you, to treat you as an ordinary woman. And most of all, he really wants you to have a great life that you have ever wanted. A life that is all about grief. Where you can never be stuck or to be trapped into Stuart's wall ever again. Please, Lenny, please make love to me right now. And I promise you, my love, that I will go easy on you without being too carried away. Lenny, I love you, baby. I'll always have and I'll always will. Now let's head on to number two. Brian is getting very serious about all the events that's happening in L.A. What the hell is that red guy talking about? What does he mean about that Stuart is using Lenny as some type of business deal for? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Darn it! Ben is 100% right about Lenny. She is in great danger. Thanks to Stuart, he is tearing her life apart as we speak. If only they should have known about all this way sooner from so long ago. My poor, dear, sweet Lenny, what did Stuart have done to you? Kim? For what your extended Uncle Benjamin Williams is trying to say to us about your mother is the very awful truth. Your mother is in deep trouble for being a pawn to our worst enemy who had truly tear our family apart from eight or nine years ago. I cannot let anybody or anyone to take away my family ever again. So the only thing that Stuart had taken away from Lenny is her freedom. And the last and final dialogues that I will share with all of you is when Brian Mills is going to be very serious to his real and true enemy Stuart St. John. And I hope you guys will love these fantastic dialogues that I decide to make up. Something that wasn't there in the live action version of Taken 3. So I hope you enjoy these dialogues. Stuart, you B-word! What have you done to my Lenny? Don't you dare say a harsh thing to my daughter! You cold-hearted, arrogant, low-life jerk! Benjamin Williams is way more of a trustworthy rich man than you are, Stuart! And for what I mean by that is because that I rather believe in a very powerful, epic rich man who had never cared about money, but living in a pure, epic life that is all about world freedom! End of quote. Lenore's St. John is no more. She is now Lenny Mills. She is no longer my ex-wife. She is now my one and only true love. Who I need to take good care of for the rest of my life. Stuart and John, let my Lenny go right now!
and there you go, ladies and dudes. This is my made-up dialogues for what Brian Mills should have really said if the Taken 3 should have ever been remade or to be retold. I hope you enjoyed this made-up dialogue of mine. And tell me, ladies and dudes, what is your most favorite dialogue that I ever written down on my piece of paper? And which one of these lines that should have been there for Taken 3? Well, whichever it is, leave a comment there and let me know. Uh, as for me, uh, which dialogues that should have been there in Taken 3? There's a couple of dialogues where Brian Mills needs to say something on Stuart's face. Like, Stuart, you B-word, what have you done to my Lenny? Or, don't you dare say a harsh thing to my daughter, you cold-hearted, arrogant, low-life jerk. I like to read those couple interesting dialogues of what Brian Mills needs to say about Stuart. But yeah, about these cool made-up dialogues that I've written down, what is your most favorite dialogue that I've ever written down in this piece of paper? Like I said, whichever these great dialogues are, leave a comment there and let me know. And finally, join me tomorrow for my most important movie review that I need to do for the fifth season. And finally, my fifth season will come to an end. So please enjoy my next movie review of a monster's calls. I'm finally going to see it today. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. And, well, this is going to be my most important thing I've been waiting for. So, and yeah, one last thing. Um, it's all, it's all, yeah, it's one year and two days ago that we lost one of the most greatest actors of all time. And truly one of the most underrated British actors of all time. So yeah, for one year and two days ago, we lost a great actor named Alan Rickman. And it still won't be the same without him. Since he is our hero after all, or was our hero, whichever you prefer. So yeah, I want to do this for him in his memory. Amen. So, I'll see you guys later. Sayonara.